I remember to this day because it's been only two years since this happened. But the day where I happened to enter an arcade with my father, because yeah, for some reason arcades still exist. And while I was looking for something to play, I looked at him and his eyes were shining, looking at one specific machine. He then approached it, saying it's been years since he saw that game for the last time, and that he used it to play that as a child, and much more. I then asked what game he was talking about, and he answered to me, Cadillac and Dinosaurs. I tried to make something dramatic, but this name is just so stupid. Hello, it's me again. And today, I'm here to talk about something different, as always. That was pretty paradoxical. As you can see on the intro of this video, I'm going to talk about a very specific game that my dad recommended to me. After playing a bit on that arcade, as you could see, I never heard of that game for a while, until I decided to play it again, of curiosity, on an emulator. And actually ends up finishing the game a while ago. And I gotta say, this game is pretty... This time I don't think I have an adjective to describe it. So let me show you guys what the hell Cadillac and Dinosaurs is all about. But before, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and check the other videos I posted on my channel. If you like this one, you probably enjoy them too. And if you like my channel as a whole, consider subscribing. No, seriously, don't just ignore this as generic YouTuber warning. I'm a beginner channel, and every little kind of help you can give me really makes this difference. Okay, but what is this game all about? What is it like? So first, let's go for an overview. Okay, so as usual, before getting to play the actual game, guess what? Problems with the controls. This time it wasn't really my fault, you know. I indeed took a little bit of time to configure them, but I mean, not being able to save the controls after closing the game is not a very good choice. This is not even the game's fault, it's the emulator, and like, every time I accidentally closed the game, I had to reconfigure it all. Now, coming to think of it, it is my fault, I should've stopped pressing S for no reason. Okay, past this, it was time to choose the character I would control, and of course, I followed my life philosophy. Every time you have the opportunity of becoming a hot woman, or at least pretending to be one, don't waste it. And here we are, fighting very comic book looking men, if that makes any sense, on the top of a building, while a pterodactyl flies over us. And now we are on a castle I guess? Okay, keep in mind that this game scenario don't make a lot of sense, actually they make no sense at all. We were on the top of a random building, now we were in wherever the hell this place is being attacked by fucking fat and bout man. The enemies here are also pretty questionable. I mean, this is only the beginning, you guys still didn't see the dinosaurs and other minorities. Talking about the gameplay, it's actually pretty simple. You just gotta move with the arrows and press two buttons, one to attack and the other to jump. Since this game was made for arcades, it obviously couldn't be that complex. Oh, and no, it also wasn't a color for this. Uh, I cut all of the, the parts where he say this, but like, I asked for this for, to make a comment for the video and he just said, Oh, pen is a butt's ass. <laughs> shit, shit me. <laughs> you can make some combination of attacks while jumping, and how many times you press the buttons, like, there are multiple ways of using these two buttons, which is pretty cool, but I thought for that, nothing really that interesting. To be honest, nowadays this game isn't really that interesting on the mechanical parts, at the time it was released it definitively was, but what actually made me think that talking about an extremely specific game would be cool, is definitively the overall aesthetic, story, but mainly, the designs. <laughs> You see, this game's art itself isn't really bad, it's actually pretty beautiful, but god fucking damn it, the designs look like shit. Bad and bad, man. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell is this? You know, I usually tend to actually try to analyze the designs of the game and talk about what I think of them, what could be better, but I actually have no words to describe this. I genuinely cannot express my discontent with this shit. My fucking disgust, I don't want to look this at anymore, get it out my it looks like some kind of rejected Marvel villain that wasn't accepted because it was too stupid. And like, when a Marvel villain gets rejected for being stupid, you know that something is very wrong because look at the type of shit that was accepted back then. <laughs> This game is just so goofy and dated that looking at it nowadays just seems like a joke. Some people may say that this game aged like the dead, but I say it aged like wine, cause come on. I'm sure that it's way more fun to play it seeing truth the dumb but stupid shit laughing than to actually play it seriously. If people even play it seriously at the time. In my whole life I never saw a game where I can like get a gun and shoot dinosaur and fat man in the fucking jungle. The game has multiple levels and different scenarios, one of my favorite ones being the jungle because as I said before, it's just chaotic and random, and resumes a lot of the tone of this game. The characters we play as are pretty cliche, like they don't have anything very interesting, not a very cool dynamic, and the mechanic and overall concept, pretty mad. At some point I just gave up and started talking in Portuguese with Folhas, where he 
tried to convince me his penis was 18 centimeters long for some reason but I don't want to include that part of the video, I don't think it would be very cool. Well and in the end it was revealed that the dinosaurs and weird creatures came from a mad scientist lab or some shit like that. And in the end he injected himself a special serum that transforms him into this shit. Then everything literally exploded and the hot girl and the other guy that no one cares died. Yeah, I know this came out of nowhere but like in the game it also did. Oh, hey, better the quality man here. So since Paulo said it's way more fun to play this game synced with the dumb and funny shit, he decided to show you guys what the average Cadillac and dinosaurs experience looks like, showing the best moments between him and Folhas playing this game. So enjoy this section of this video that he didn't came up with a name. I can just keep inserting coins and I'll keep doing that because I don't want to play this game more than two times. <laughs> Masturbation. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this is so terrible! <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Cara, não, isso não vai pro vídeo, cara. Knights, you have shotguns, you have badges. Chocolate bars. I want be one of this Oh hey guys, hello, it's me, the bad audio quality man. How are you guys doing? Did you guys miss me? So I just wanted to give a quick warning that this thing was decided by you guys actually, at least by some of you. I posted on this channel's community an in-catch of what team they wanted for their next video, and this one won. So if you want to interact a little more with me, and sometimes even choose the next team too, just help me a little and check this channel community. I mean, help Lalo a little, I'm not Lalo, I'm the bad audio quality man. Okay, I'm done with the bullshit. So yeah, this for some reason was Cadillac and Dinosaurs. I thought this game was interesting. I mean, I can say it was a great game, but I can also say that it was terrible. It was a good experience, but not exactly a great piece of art, you know. If you want to have a stupid fun time and laugh, I do think playing this would be interesting. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and checking the other ones I posted on my channel. If you like this one, you probably enjoy them too. Now seriously, I'm a beginner channel, and every little kind of happy game gave me really makes a difference. So now... Good bad.